You can also use proportionality for parallel lines in triangles or just segments. So here we have FT parallel to LA parallel to GR. So what we can do is we can say that each parallel segment is going to be proportional to the other one. So 21 matches up with 35, and the corresponding is 42 and X. So what we're going to say is 21 over 35 will equal 42 over X. And then we multiply by cross-multiplying. 21X will equal 42 times 35, which is 1,470. Then we can divide by 21. And when we do that, we get X is 70. Now, what some of you may have noticed was that the scale factor from 21 to 42 was times 2. So 35 to X, we times by 2, we get 70. So that's a good way to check. So X equals 70. Now we're going to do the same, but we're going to use Y. So we're going to do 21 and 28, and then 42 and Y, because 28 is the corresponding side with Y. So 21 over 28 will equal... 42 over y. So we cross multiply. 21 times y equals 42 times 28. 21y equals 1,176. We divide by 21, and we get y equals 56. And again, we could have used that scale factor times 2. 28 times 2 is 56, which is what we got. So our answer, x equals 70, y equals 56. Here's another example. The only difference is we're actually trying to find that segment of the transversal rather than the proportional parallel sides. So we can't compare proportional sides. We actually have to do triangles. So here we have triangle A. DG is similar to triangle BDF. Now what that's saying is that the triangle ADG is going to be similar to the triangle BDF. Okay, so we can compare those sides. So first what we want to do is we want to find this large side here for the bigger triangle. So we do 20 plus 15 plus 25, which is 60. So the side of that triangle is 60. Then we want to find the side for the smaller triangle. So we do 15 plus 25, which is 40. And that's going to be that side. So now we can compare the two sides. So we have the first one, x and 60, and that will equal the second one. So if we match them up, 18 and 40. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. So we get 40x is equal to 18 times 60. When we do 18 times 60, we get... 1,080, then we're going to divide by 40, so x will equal 27, and that's going to be our answer. All right, so I'd like you to try this one on your own, so you're not trying to find the transversal, you're trying to find those proportional segments, so you just set a proportion and solve. Good luck.